I literally suck at vlogging. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, June the 10th, I think, yeah. Um, it's really dark behind me because I'm standing in front of my door. There we go. So the montage you just saw was me studying this morning. That was around, I don't know, like 11. Now it's almost six o'clock. So a few hours have passed since then. I started getting like the documentation I need for my licensure and I had to go um, get it notarized and get a passport photo taken. Um, because uh, in Louisiana you have to have like a passport quality photo and then you have to have a whole bunch of like different documents with like your signature saying like you know about like crimes and you know uh, making sure that you don't have any uh, malpractice things against you just different things that you have to sign so I had to get all of those notarized I'm about to go put them in a manila envelope and I'm gonna send them off on Tuesday after class but uh, my mom got, oh gosh, my mom got William this, ooh, that fog, it is humid, okay? Like, Louisiana is like the most humid state, in my opinion. I just let the dogs inside. And like, the, the lens got all humid. But, uh, my mom has William, so she's gonna keep him this weekend. So, it's just going to be me and Matt this weekend. I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, I know we want to go out one night. I don't know. I, it's probably going to be tomorrow night. Um, because the club we like going to has uh, $2 drinks until midnight. And we usually like doing that. Uh, we're going to go out, have like a little date night. Because we have not done that in two years. Since, well, actually, no, more than that. Because we haven't gone out since before I found out I was pregnant. So, it's been a long time. And this thing is still here, unfortunately. But, gosh, what else? So, I don't know if anybody has ever had a passport photo taken. I would imagine you probably have. Um, but if you have not, they are literally the ugliest pictures ever. Like, worse than an ID. Like, they're awful. Like, my head, I'm not even going to show you because it's just so bad. My head literally looks like an egg. Like, it's embarrassing and I usually I'm the kind of person who's like me I look ugly in the picture oh well like unless it's because I don't want to look ugly in like my senior pictures that I just taken like my graduation pictures but if it's like an ID picture like my driver's license or my student ID I'm just like mm, whatever but this was literally the worst picture I've ever had taken to myself like I just like I it made me realize that whenever my hair is behind my head you can't see my ears. So, I my head I look like freaking Humpty Dumpty. It is unreal. So, I've got to um securely attach the photo right here in this little box and send it to the Louisiana State Board of Medical Examiners so that they can get the ball rolling on my uh, state license and oh god the pictures oh i'm not even gonna, i'm not even gonna show you this just i think it's the, it's the worst i don't even want matt to see it i don't like i don't want anybody to see this picture i was embarrassed that the lady at the walgreens saw it because it was bleh. so how can i secure this like elmer's glue is elmer's glue secure you're about to find out Luckily, that's not one of the things I needed to get notarized, so if Elmer's glue doesn't work and it needs super glue, then I can just print out another one and sign it and glue the picture to it because they gave me two copies of that ugly, disgusting, horrible picture. So what you saw me um, studying this morning was an asynchronous lecture from um, my professor that she posted on Canvas. Uh, she canceled class on Tuesday, so the quiz that was due on Tuesday, or that we were going to do on Tuesday, she um, pushed it back to be due today at 3, which I did it yesterday. And um, she posted an asynchronous lecture because we still have a test on Tuesday. So that's not fun, but 
oh well it is what it is it's not it's for pulmonary rehab so it's not you know too difficult but still it's just quite a bit of memorizing um like just a few different like formulas so far and like uh like normal percentage ranges or whatever but that's what I was doing this morning and looking at this morning so I'm gonna be studying this the rest of the night and uh yeah I don't really have anything else going on this is just gonna be like a a real study heavy vlog so welcome <laughs> Okay, so it's quite a bit later. I finished watching the um, video lecture that my teacher posted and um, I'm about to start making, like redoing like the notes I took on the PowerPoint. I, instead of like handwriting them because that takes literally forever, I've started just typing them out and um, it just, it just doesn't take as long. So it does the same thing. Like I'm not, you know, writing it down helps me remember it, but you know, it's, it's not like a huge enough difference, like typing it out and like just looking it over again, that it also helps. So like, this isn't like hindering me or anything. It's just, um, uh, it's just quicker and the results are about the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that. It's honestly really easy. Um, I just copy and paste everything. So I'll show you how I do it. Okay, so bear with me. The setup is not ideal. It's like, I don't know, it's weird to have the camera in front of me. But, so basically what I do is I just, you know, highlight that, just copy it. And paste it and I know that there's a way to like make the uh what is it there's a way to like make the PowerPoint into like an outline that looks like you know what I do but like I haven't figured out how to do that so or like I have figured out how to do it but it just doesn't look right you know like it just looks weird so there we go so I'll put the title there and then just kind of copy and paste everything. And it does this automatically, but sometimes like you can fix it. So like I'll just um, like speed through this and then uh, like show you how I edit it all. Okay, so basically I just, like you saw, like copy everything from over here and put it over here, but anything that I have like extra little like notes for I kind of like stagger them like this down here like for physical assessment you do vital signs height and weight da 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 chest exam but for chest exam you're looking for symmetrical rise and fall of and uh breath sounds I guess I can put breath sounds it's like a second one so so like you can see there's like little subcategories there oops there we go And there's always that where you like, where it ends up being on a different page. And that kind of sucks. But yeah, anything that's important, I put like these little stars by or asterisks. And then I'll also like, um, cause even down here, like these are very important. So I'll end up highlighting them uh, pink like just like I do in the book like whenever I read the book I highlight um, definitions yellow and really important stuff pink and uh, equations ah equations I'll highlight them uh, blue well you can't even tell if that's blue yeah you can I don't even know why I pulled that out but 
Um, yeah, so important stuff, pink, definitions, yellow, and uh, equations in blue. And there's actually a couple equations in here that I need to remember. Actually, I think there's just one. Oh, yep, there's one. I mean, this is not the one that I have to remember. But, um, this one is. So that's in blue. And I'll just, um, highlight it over here in blue as well. But yeah, um, whenever I'm finished, because I plan on finishing this tonight, there's 47 slides. And that was, uh, three slides? Five, five slides. So, whenever I get done with this, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so... What seems like an eternity later, I'm finished. So, I don't remember what time I started. But, so basically, this ended up being a super long one. This is 14 pages long. And usually they're not this long, but this PowerPoint just had a lot of little bullet points like this. So, basically, I just, yeah... <laughs> I bring over like these like little graphs and things that are important uh, there's another one here where is it um this one and this one but yeah um so just separate each uh powerpoint slide like the title and then like the main points and if each main point had like a little sub point then I would do that and then some subpoints have subpoints. So, you know, I mean, I don't exactly know, like, what it's called. But it's like, just making an outline. That's what it's called. It's outlining, basically. So, that's how I do my notes now. And I'm really mad that this took so freaking long. Like, ugh. So, if you guys can't tell... I am very tired and it's only 10 17 so I think I'm going to go to bed and then wake up early ish tomorrow since I don't have will I want to sleep in a little bit because I don't ever get to sleep in so that'll be nice and then um I'll continue uh studying in the morning and um let's see what do I have to do for tomorrow so I've got to read the textbook for this class and then uh I have to read chapters two three five and six so I was going to read chapters two and three today but I didn't know that the uh, study guide and the like making the study guide and watching the um, lecture would take as long as it did <sighs> so I'm gonna just read the book tomorrow I'll just try to read all the chapters which the chapters are very short so it's not like you know it's gonna take forever so, I'm going to do that, two, three, five, and six. So yeah, I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It is Saturday. I think it's, what, the 11th? Yes, it is Saturday, June 11th. It is 9.15 in the morning. I actually didn't sleep in. I've been up since like 7. So, I just now sat at my desk. I've been, like, looking at videos online and just going through Instagram and stuff. So, I've been kind of chilling since I've been up. But, I'm about to sit down and read my textbook and start studying again. I want to get as much studying done as I can today because tonight, Matt and I are going out somewhere. I don't know where. I know we're going to go eat, but I don't know where we're going. If we're gonna do anything after that and then tomorrow um I think for the first like beginning of tomorrow I'm gonna study a little bit and then the afternoon I'm just gonna spend with William 
So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started studying and um, yeah, let's just get this ball rolling. now I've been reading over my book um, and like skipping over the things that we didn't talk about in the PowerPoint so reading didn't take as long as I thought it would um, and for the most part I just like I don't like read fully like I've been just skimming and if I see something that sounds familiar I'll highlight it so Reading didn't take very long, but now I'm going to take a big old fat break because I'm really sleepy and I may end up taking a nap and it doesn't help that it's rainy and gray and just bleh outside. It's really making me tired, but I'm going to take a break, probably paint my nails because I'm just in the mood to do that. Um, and then uh, I'll pick back up with you later if I decide to study more then we'll do that if not then I will show you um just whatever I'm doing whenever I pick the camera back up I really don't know what I'm going to be doing if I'm not studying our sea land the trigger is going to be set no matter what the mode and preferably it is going to be a flow trigger setting although time can be the trigger setting it's still going to be also set to allow the patient to trigger the breath. And exclusively flow is what we see at bedside in our area. On the MBRC exam, if you've given an option of flow versus pressure, the only time you're really going to set a pressure trigger is if you are trying to prevent auto cycling. until like nine and I'm just now sitting down at my computer studying I got um I ended up buying the uh like respiratory coaches um TMC boot camp and what that is is it's like 12 hours worth of video review like so that you can review all the stuff and 
past the TMC. Like, it's not, it's basically just review. Like, it's not like a whole bunch of in-depth, like, this is your first time learning it stuff. It's like just really quick, like, review videos. But it's 12 hours worth of videos. I think there's like 40 videos, I think. I don't remember how many videos he said there was, but... Um, let me see how much it was because it wasn't cheap. It was $99 and after tax it was $106.72 and I think um, I think you can only access it like once a year and he'll say like on his YouTube and on his Instagram like when um, it's available to buy. So I took advantage of it a couple of months ago whenever it was available to buy because I knew around this time I was going to need it. So I got that. I also got um, respiratory therapy zones, uh, TMC practice guide. I think that was like 50 bucks and it's just a whole bunch of like uh, test questions. And then um, this respiratory therapy exam book that I had to get for class has a like a code um, an access code in it where you can take um, different practice tests as well. So I'm going to be looking at this for a little bit um, and watching these videos and then I will eventually call it quits for the day because it's Sunday. I'm going to go pick Will up around 3. And then I'm just going to spend the rest of the day hanging out with my kid because I won't get to see him tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have a 12 hour day at clinicals and I hate whenever I don't get to see him. So I'm going to spend the rest of the day with him after I pick him up. But for now, I'm going to dive into respiratory therapy coach or respiratory coach. Yeah. You have two different types. 